It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because in this video we are going to take a close look at the Gamebox 5. Yeah, so I've reviewed all kinds of weird devices, but this Gamebox 5, I have never owned it. So I just wanted to check it out. So unfortunately, this thing comes with only AV out, mini USB for charging or reset power, USB and built-in 620 games. So yeah, the question remains, what are we going to get? We're going to get ourselves like a PlayStation 5 mini with Super Nintendo controllers. Yeah, it can get more wicked than that. Or maybe it does. So I have seen those, let's say, weird mini PlayStation 5 ones. But this is seriously like one of those tiny, this is like a mini, mini, mini version. Like, it's kind of cool. It even has like the 5 on it. <laughs> so at the front, we're going to get ourselves the reset. We do have like a power on and off, just a sliding switch. At the front, two USB ports and the LED for power indication. Wait, I think. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. First of all, smelly test. <laughs> Doesn't smell chemical. It has like very long travel buttons. They feel okay, select start. Ooh, the shoulder buttons feel very nice. It comes in a very long cable. Let's do, unfold this one. And let's plug it in this bad boy. Let's see, where is where is the AV out cable? Where is the AV out cable? Ah, there is the AV out cable and my power cable. All right, so everything has been plugged in. Let's dim the lights over here. I'm going to see it in the display. Let's plug in the controller. I'm hoping I'm having the right one. Let's turn it on. Wow. The reason I'm saying wow, I'm just flabbergasted how basic this is. Oh crap, wrong port. I think we need to have the top one. Oh yeah, there we have. Oh, this is some old school stuff. Look at this. <laughs> oh boy, this is really bad. Like I have seen my share of like say systems, but this is like four steps back. And I mean, like normally we get these very fancy menus, quick load, quick save. This is just going back to the basics. They tried to make something super cheap. You can see like there's no alphabetic order. You have like some weird looking names. Pikachu. What the hell is going on? The volume output is very low. We can even play cooperative. That's cool. Oh, seriously. This is just one weird... Yeah, it's just in Tetris game. <laughs> right there we have like the buttons to switch. Oh, that is cheap. I don't know, I'm guessing this is more like a homebrew game. They just use the Pikachu. But I kind of really appreciate the effort. Let's see if there isn't any different sound. Oh man, this D-pad is horrible. Oh yeah, he's making a happy face. Oh, that is pretty damn cool. That is what I call. A happy face. Give me again. Happy face. Stupid teapot. I'm happy you're happy, Pikachu, because I am not. Stupid freaking controller. Oh boy. And if you need to choose a different game, you need to go back to the freaking console and press the button. Seriously, like there is no like pressing both buttons at the same time, reset the system. One thing I'm happy about that the visual quality of this fake mini micro PlayStation 5 thing is not bad at all. Seriously. But the controls makes it freaking unplayable. You're not using power games for once. Roadhouse. That's Roadhouse. Them all. Oh crap, wrong button, let's run for it. I love it when they put these weird games on them. <laughs> More to come on for this is absolutely... I really don't like this. But I just wanted to show you how bad this actually is. I am Shao Kahn, but I'm playing... Okay, I'm Shang Tsung, but I'm playing with Shao Kang. And we're having like against opponent Nightwolf, but he's also Shao Kahn. Like, how messed up can this be? All right, so let's play one of my favorite games. You see, like the characters do have like a weird purple to it. Ah, we have turbo buttons. All right, let's go cheesy.
I'm getting used to this horrible D-pad now. Let's go. Let's kick them all in the face. Okay. Smell my feet. And perish. But you get the point. So I was scrolling through the list and I see a lot of like the same games. I was looking at like in Spartan X again, but I've already seen Gradius a couple of times. So the list is absolutely like repeat, like the old days. It's kind of funny, like we're this we talk about like maybe more than 20 years they're making these weird devices and they're still like doing double games. Oh, here we have 595 Spartan X. Yep, same game. It sucks. All right, so when it comes to the system itself, it's quite disappointing. It's going back all the way back to the freaking like 90s with horrible, like really horrible gameplay. Let's rip this thing open. That's the only thing, there were no screws whatsoever. So this is going to be a very quick teardown. <laughs> oh, let's get myself the filthy screwdriver. The filthy screwdriver. No, I think the filthy screwdriver is not the right one. Right, another one. Yeah, check it here. Uh, just doing a quick rip and tear. And this is basically what you're going to get. Look at this. Like, there is almost nothing inside of this. And of course, like, these devices are super cheap. It's still, like, fascinating to see how they can make them complete with box. And if you're going to buy them without box, it's going to be even more cheap to the cheap, cheap. And... Okay, it's quite interesting. Oh, there. There we have. What's it like? Where are the black blobs? Okay, the black blobs are over here. So basically, they're covering basically the software underneath it. What I understand of, they're still doing it, even now. I was sometimes wondering like, who gives a shit about it. They're like even they're using a freaking fancy menu, you know. So this is just a typical NES only chip. Let's see what kind of chip they're using. I don't know. We don't know the brand itself. But yeah, it's just basic. Let's see. This thing has been made in 2022. All right. So you can see like this absolutely brand new product they made. So that's it. So that's basically what you're going to get. Like the front PCB is just your, just basically the PCB that has like two control ports and of course micro switch and the slider switch over here. The controller plays horrible for some guy somehow. Like the input for turtles were absolutely garbage. But what I do like and really appreciate with this is just the way how this thing looks. It looks kind of funny. It looks like a micro PlayStation 5, especially the form factor. It's a little bit shorter, I think it is, but that's a Beside that point, I have no idea why they made something like this. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this Gamebox 5. I think most people, if, if you're going to even pick it up, maybe it's just fun to put next to your television or display with a figure or a statue or something. But beside that, I have no idea what to do with it.